because I didn't study philosophy. I got into what philosophers had been saying by inner experiences and then thinking about it, trying to understand them scientifically and understand them rationally. And uh, I found that many people have said the same things that, that I came up mm -hmm. to through this process, to this inner process, not by reading books and repeating what I read. Yeah. Uh, so the satiety that is sort of... Uh, the satiety is what I call a field that is conscious and has free will and wants to know itself. I call them satiety to distinguish them from the quantum fields, which don't have consciousness, free will, and don't want to know themselves. But they have all the characteristics of the quantum fields in the terms of what you can explain of them based on physics. But they go beyond that because their inner life can you know, it's beyond physics. So physics can only explain qualia, which is the, the entry point to the inner world. But from qualia to meaning, as I said, there is comprehension, then meaning is all new physics. And new physics can only go up to a certain point and then you have to leave even physics. It's got to go to what we now call metaphysics, but it's what can only be known from the inside. But it will take centuries to go through. The key thing though, it shows that physics now is incomplete because it doesn't even allow the inner world to exist. Mm. And the reason why they struggle for 80 years to unify quantum physics and general relativity is because the fundamental concepts of time, space, matter, and energy are wrong. They're almost right, but they're not so close to the truth that they allow you to bring together into a unified physical field what is now, you know, one is a set of fields and the other one is space-time and gravity.